Let's look at a titration where we dilute the solution and then titrate again. So I'm going to titrate the strong acid, nitric acid, HNO3, with the strong base, potassium hydroxide. I'm then going to dilute it and do the titration again. So shown here in yellow is the initial titration. I'm going to dilute by a factor of 10, just add water, titrate again. What will the new titration curve look like? A, B, or C? Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at a possible explanation for each answer. A, the pH should change by one unit at the beginning and the end, but the equivalence point is unchanged. B, tenfold dilution changes the equivalence point by a factor of 10. Or C, the pH should change by one unit at the beginning and the end, but the equivalence point is unchanged. Think about those and make a selection. We're looking at two titrations, one where we've diluted by a factor of 10. If you dilute a strong acid solution by a factor of 10, you change the H3O plus concentration by a factor of 10, and you increase the pH by one unit. So the initial pH should be one unit higher than the undiluted. But in dilution, you're just adding water. You're not adding any more moles of acid. So the same number of moles of acid are there, so it requires the same number of moles of base to reach equivalence point. And at the end of the titration, again, you'll be off by a factor of 10 or one pH unit. So the correct answer here is A, changes at the beginning and the end, but the equivalence point is the same.